In this video tutorial, I will let you know about three different ways of applying different mathematical functions to the element of a list. Understanding this technique is very really important for manipulating or plotting experimental data and is also a very important tool for numerical analysis of various analytical relations in theoretical study. I have already written the code in Mathematica and will just keep on explaining each step by going through it. So let's begin by first constructing a list through table command. It is a list of length 6 means containing 6 elements in the form of first 6 real numbers and I want to apply a function to each element of this list. The function could be any mathematical function such as logarithm, exponent, polynomial or any other kind of complex function. For example, here in this particular case, I want to find the sign of each element of the list. The easy way which usually a beginner would prefer to do is to assign a name to the function and then make a table against the desired values of the list. In this case, I have assigned fx to the desired function sign of x where x could be any element of the list. So what I do, I just make a table of the function for the same values of x like in this case. So if I run the function, so, so if I run this list, I see that the function sign is mapped to, the, to each value of the list. Here I have 0 because sine of 0 is 0 and then the rest of the elements everyone has mapped to everyone the sine function is mapped. And if I want to find the numerical values of this function I just need to run this command and I have the numerical values for each member of the list or for each element of the list. Now, in order to understand the potential of Mathematica, I would like to apply two different functions to the list of interest. For example, in this case, I have assigned two functions, exponent and trigonometric sine function and have assigned the name fx1. If I run this program, I would have the mapping of both functions simultaneously to each element of the list. Every element of the list is exponentiated. Here you have, we have 1 because sine of 0 is 0 and exponent of 0 is 1. So this way I can assign different function to each element of the list and if I want to find the numerical value I just have to replace the name of the list followed by two forward slashes and the capital N which is a command for numerical values. Okay, now the next step is to use a built-in command of Mathematica that map a function to each element of the list and that function is map. Either you can write it as MAP but I would like to use the programming language and for in programming the map function is applied by backslash followed by at the rate. So this thing in the program apply the map function. So what I do, I first map sine function over the member or the elements of the list and give it name ls4. And simultaneously I then apply the exponent function to each element of ls4. So this single line 
will apply both the function to the list of one. Keep in mind here I'm not making any table, rather I'm directly taking the value of the list and map sign function over each element of the list. And once this list is formed, then I ask Mathematica to apply the exponential function to each element of list 4. So if I run this, I'll get the same result as over here. And if I want to find the numerical values, I just put this person sign, the person sign in Mathematica is used for taking the value one output ahead. Like in this case, this is output eight. So if I use this, the person, uh, so the, the person call Mathematica to take the values from this one list. And I have the same values as in this one list. If you compare this list, in this list, they are exactly term by term equals. Okay, that's what we use the built in command of Mathematica, and the built in command is mapping. The next thing is user defined function, and that is the most powerful tool that you can use Mathematica to construct any kind of function of your own desire without referring to the uh, without referring to the built-in command of Mathematica. So I want to reproduce the same result by first defining a function and then I can map that function back to uh, and then I can map that desired function over the elements of the list. So what I do here I first define a function of the I first define a function sine of x and then exponent of the sine of x and I gave it a name f of x where x is now a dummy variable and this function is a delayed function. So the dummy variable could be anything, whichever will you give to it, the function will apply these two exponential and uh, trigonometric function to the value x. So what I do, now I map f over each element of the x over here, and if I run this, again I get the same list as I have obtained over here. So the, this list is exactly the same as this one list. And if I want to find the numerical values, I repeat the same procedure and you can compare these values to the previous two lists and you will see they are exactly the same. Okay, the user defined function has a lot of freedoms. You can play with the list through different ways. For example, over here, let me first do the easy one example. I first want to multiply each value of the list with pi by a and then apply the function exponent and sine. This thing I cannot do in the previous two cases. So this is in fact the extra freedom in user defined functions. And uh, if I define this function, then run it, map word list one. Now you see each element of the list is first multiplied with pi by a. You can see over here because this is one times pi by a. This is two times pi by a. This is three times pi by a and so on. We are one, two, three are the elements of the list. Similarly, I can modify the user defined function through other ways. For example, here I tell Mathematica that those values of the function for which x is 0 should be set equal to 0. If I run this part of the function and then map it to the list 1, now compare this list with this one list, you see the difference in the first element. Here the first element is 1 because here we have first taken sine of 0 
where 0 is the first element of the list and then exponentiated it and exponent of 0 is 1. So, we have 1 over here. Here I have asked Mathematica to set those value equal to 0 for which the value of the element in the list is 0. And we know the first value of the element is 0 and instead of giving us one value, we have given us zero value. The same you can do for other elements.